All right, what's going on everybody? So we are going to pull some lists, some motivated seller lists. Um, and uh, we're gonna do it from Batch Leads and then List Source. Two great platforms. Uh, we've used Batch, we use both, both actually. Uh, we started off with List Source um, a long time ago, probably six years ago. Um, and then we switched to Batch Leads. Um, and we've been rocking with them for the longest. Both very accurate. Uh, we just find it a little more easier to utilize batch leads. And we use uh, a few other of their services as well. Um, but uh, yeah, let's let's get started. We're going to keep it very simple. And we're going to pull an absentee owner um, list. Basically, high equity absentee owner. That's someone who owns a property and does not live at the property. So typically, usually they're going to be landlords. You know who has someone who has renters and everything um but uh yeah let's just we're just going to do harris county that's my local uh market and um yeah as you can see <laughs> 1.3 million it's a big ass city um and we're just going to work on getting that number lower and um yeah more and more filtered out obviously so we're going to start with property characteristics we're sticking with residential and single family. So those are houses, not duplexes, not triplexes, no apartments or anything like that. Um, maximum year build, let's do 1985. I wanted to have some, some old bones, you know, um, just increase the chances of it uh, needing repairs. MLS status, we do not want it on market at all. Uh, ownership information, individual own, uh, batch can do LLCs, you know, company owned, but we don't want to mess with that right now. Years of ownership. Let's do 50, actually let's do 20 years. I want to make sure they have some skin in the game, uh, 20 years. So they've owned it for at least a minimum of 20 years and valuation. Let's do a maximum. So this is like the Zestimate. All right. Um, let's do maximum 250. Anything above that right now is not really making a lot of sense for buyers. So I want to make sure I have a bigger, big buyer's pool. Um, estimated equity. Let me see. Let's do our minimum 70, 70%. And... Oh yeah, that's fine. Minimum 70%. And then that is it. Actually, hold on. Let's do one more. I want to do it to where... Yeah, number of properties owned. So we'll do a minimum of three. Three properties owned, and that'll pull us, ooh, 5,300. So let's do apply. <clears throat> yeah, so we have 5,300 properties found. So this will be a good, good list. So Harris County, that's just your local market. Residential, just single family homes, just houses. Uh, year build 1985 or older, not on market. They've owned it for 20 plus years. Um, individual owners, 250,000 and below, 70% equity or higher, and uh, they've owned or they currently own three properties or more. So uh, this would be a great list to get started with and to just to just hammer via text, cold calling, RVM, whatever you're doing, send a mail, uh, just do it consistently. Because, yeah, at the end of the day, everybody's calling the same leads, same lists. Um, you know, there's a lot of people in your position, your situation, um, and in different situations as well. But at the point I'm trying to make is everybody's calling these lists. Um, but the key is to consistently call because it's all about timing and hitting them, having that conversation with them when they're ready to sell, you know, when it's on their mind, when they're thinking about selling. Okay. Uh, so let's do the same thing, but let's do it in a, uh, in list source. All right. So this is just their homepage. I, where I went to their homepage. I selected create your own. It's free to make an account and everything. Uh, so we'll just start with the criteria and we're going to do same way. County state is Texas and we're looking for Harris County, which is right here. 
and let it load a little bit. Then we're going to go to property. And we are going to start with, uh, let's do equity percentage and same thing, 70 to, oops, to 100. Add. Uh, and then next, going to do last market sale date. So the last time uh, the property sold. So we're going to take this all the way back to the beginning of time, 1900. And then I'm going to go back just 10 years or whatever. Actually, no, I'm going to go back 20 years. So let's do 2003, 2003. And let's add. And here's the numbers right here that we're dwindling, dwindling down. So we're at 148,000 right now. Um, let's go to the next thing right here. We're going to do property type and we're only doing um, single family home, okay? So residential, single family residence. And then I believe that's the last over here. Oh, total assessed value. I almost forgot. Uh, so we are going to do one dollar to two oops two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. And let's see how much it takes it down. Seventy-two. Okay, we're rocking. And let's go to options. Now we're just going to do absentee owned and it's going to automatically select in state and out of state absentee owners. So in state and then out of state, we want both of those uh, trust owned properties. No, we don't want any family trusts or anything like that. Uh, corporate owned properties exclude and uh, we want both mailing and property address. And as you see, the number is 11,700. And it's larger than the batch leads one because in a list source, we can't do the number of properties owned, or at least I don't think so. Um, so but that's fine. So that's a good list. So we're going to do purchase list, but we're not actually purchasing it. I just want to show you some more options. Um, so that's the total right there, 351, which is not bad. Um, but uh, we can do purchase partial lists as well. Like if you don't want to spend that much money and let's just say we want to do 1,000 leads, that would be, let's recalculate it, that'd be $30. So that's not bad at all, at all. Um, and yeah, you, like I said, same thing with Batch. You can just purchase that and then get it skip traced and uh yeah just start hammering the phones or, or sms or mailing just as long as you're consistently hitting these people um that'll just increase the odds so much of uh you know you popping that first that first deal